Hi there everyone, it's Natalia Aranza and in this video I would like to show you how to keep your images looking sharp after resizing them for your website or social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, 500 pics and so on. Uh, I will be working in Photoshop, so let's begin. I will be showing you how to sharpen and make your colors look correctly. First of all, don't sharpen a full size image. Let's resize it to uh, whatever you want to put on the internet. And they say that image image size, they say that 2048 uh, pixels, we are talking about pixels, 2048 on the longer side is the optimal for social media. If you remember a few years back, uh, Facebook was terrible at resizing images and <clears throat> now they like improved a lot. And I guess 2048 pixels um, was figured out by some smart people uh, as the optimal size. Um, so <clears throat> I would like to know what is the actually impact to a photo if I upload, for example, 900 or 2000. So I guess I'm just too lazy to research on this. So if anyone knows, please kindly let us know as well and write it below in comments. And for now, we will do what everyone does and size it to 2048. Yeah, and press OK. So now our image is compressed. Oops, I forgot uh, I have a texture on top. Yes, on top of my portrait. By the way, we are working today on the portrait of uh, this Indian beauty, Pranati Rai, the gorgeous girl, um, whose portrait I've taken some time back. So I applied, I applied a texture on top of the portrait, which I normally do quite often, just to add some pinch, you know, some some drama. To it some vintage feel I don't know I just I just like it I guess so you can you can see without texture and with the texture so how to apply the texture I already shared in my other video uh, I can post it at the end of this so you can just uh, have a look at that too and uh, well so now I will just merge it together not to get you confused and uh, first I will show you how to sharpen in two ways uh, one is very easy and simple by pressing command uh, if you're using apple or control if you're using um, what what is what you can be using windows yeah yeah i'm using apple <laughs> so i'm pressing command g to create a duplicate layer and uh, it's great i want to actually <coughs> make it uh, full size on the screen yeah so uh, duplicate it and now I'm just simply going to filter sharpen sharpen okay so now you can see I hope you can see the change before and after so this is how it looks and normally I just grab a razor with the flow and opacity 100% and just like brutally erasing from the background or whatever you don't want to be sharp and you want to remain the same and just do it this way like you know and also if you want if you feel that skin texture reveals too much too sharp so you can just remove from the skin as well or some from the lips uh, so uh, this is how it looks now before and after or you can you can actually create a layer mask and go this way and just show again filter sharpen and sharpen oops I forgot sorry to forgot to create a duplicate layer and now we are going and sharpening that so you can create actually a layer mask yeah and with your black color as a background color yeah you can press command or control delete 
and you will get uh, your adjustment, your sharpening under the mask. You will mask it completely as it was before and now you can just, you know, reveal, um, don't forget to change again the colors, reveal the parts which you want to be sharp, so such as hair and eyes or eyebrows or whatever. So you can do it the other way around with layer mask but I I am more rough on that I guess so okay so this is the one way to sharpen which I use quite often second way is through uh, high pass and for that again we will create a background copy by pressing command or control J and we are going to desaturate the image first because when you desaturate the image, smart people figure out that when you desaturate the image um, while sharpening, it doesn't it, it doesn't get damaged. Your colors uh, it remain. It's a safe way to sharpen. So uh, first you have to desaturate. And we can desaturate our image by going to image adjustment and desaturate. Here you go. Or I'll just do command, I'll press command Z to undo <coughs> what I've done. Or you can just press uh, three buttons at the time and command shift and U. Command Shift and U or Control Shift and U to desaturate your image uh, this way. And now you can go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. So in High Pass, uh, we'll make your image looking gray, and it's a, it's a kind of it, it starts looking like a um, pencil sketch. Uh, so what is there? radius number we have to apply here it depends on the resolution of your image since we are working right now we are, we are trying to sharpen the compressed image the downsized image uh, your radius I guess can be between 1 to 2 maximum so let's keep it for the sake of demonstration let's keep it 1.5 for example um, when bigger resolution of the image, when bigger the size of the image, the bigger is radius of uh, your high pass. Yeah, so <clears throat> uh, because the same, the very same number will do almost nothing to the full size resolution image, right? So I press OK. Now we have to change our blending mode from normal to overlay. Yes, so now you can see uh, before and after. And again, we can create uh, the layer mask. We will make sure that uh, the color, uh, background color is black and foreground is white. And pressing Command Delete, we will fill the entire um, uh, layer with black, layer mask with black. And then just reveal again uh, switch the colors and reveal just the parts of the image which you want to be sharp or you can do the opposite way just what I like to do um, it's just you know just directly just directly work on the same layer just like that so just just like that, just erase the parts of the image which you don't want to be sharp. It's like this. Yeah, so it's ready. So this is our uh, before and after. If I make it closer, you will see the changes even better. Yes, so uh, now normally I apply my uh, copyrights. So I have here always on my desktop my copyrights. So just simply grab it and drag it and drop it. 
command T uh, or control T to resize if you need so and like depends on the image and wherever you want to keep it and don't make it too I, I, I don't make it too bright I don't like it too because those who want to you know you, you can put it on the eyes if you want but First of all, it spoils your image, and second, those who really want to steal your image, they will do it anyway, and they can really remove your copyrights from anywhere. So, I don't really keep copyrights for that purpose. I keep copyrights just so, you know, just so people know it's me. I'm somewhere modestly in the corner. I'm modestly at the corner and opacity is normally very less so it's it's something like that so just a slight reminder that all right this is hers and uh, well after that okay you can just flatten your image and go ahead save it <coughs> save it um, there is a way to save it as well mm. so I will be showing you that too go into file and uh, you, you have there is an option save as so just pass it by and go to save for web directly save for web and why do we choose uh, this way to save uh, yeah we have to convert it basically normally it is by default uh, already in your settings but if it's not make sure that it's uh, tick marked uh, the convert to srgb you see what happens you see what happens to the image uh, it immediately changes the color so <clears throat> make sure uh, it's tick marked convert to srgb uh, because web uh, browsers uh, use this color space so <clears throat> the correct colors of your image will be shown and now um, preview as I choose monitor colors so if your monitor is color collaborated it's it's perfect it's great um, and about the quality, okay, uh, JPEG, a uh, quality I keep normally something between 90-95 uh, because there is no, no need to keep it in maximum, it really increases the size in kilobytes and you know just why, why unnecessary to keep such a heavy file if we are not compromising with quality but if you see if I, if I keep low quality what happens yeah we, we have uh, our image pixelated and completely ruined so of course we don't want to compromise with that so very high will be fine something between 90 95 say okay 90 and I still have my image good you know its uh, quality is perfect so and at the same time size is reduced and uh, convert to srgb as i already said and metadata copyright and contact information if you have any there already now the quality is by cubic smoother uh, you have the option um, but uh, everybody recommends um, by cubic smoother which I, I have not created this guys um, I learned in my own way from my own gurus in my own time and now I'm passing to you so uh, I have not created that so don't ask me really too many questions why it is like what it means nearest neighbor because I don't really know what is nearest neighbor but I know that if you could keep it on a big, a big sharper uh, the image will look um, they may appear on the internet a bit too more crisp which we don't want so keep it by cubic smoother so it will be the way you see it on your monitor uh, which is what we want right so uh, all right so now we can save save the image come on it's loading 
we can save it on the desktop um, okay there is already a previous one so I'll just replace it yes So this is uh, this is the final image which is ready. Come on, open up, open up. Yeah, <laughs> final image which is ready uh, for upload. And this is how I do it. Uh, I know for many of you I will not open the America. I will not discover the America. But for some of you it may be very useful. And uh, thank you for. Uh, asking me that question so that gave me an idea to create the video and this is how I save it so I hope it will be useful for you too guys and your images will look extra sharp on the internet um, and please feel free to ask me what else you would like to see from me and uh, next tutorials you can write down in comments uh, have a great time and good night or good morning, so whatever. <laughs> See you soon, guys.